Uh, front page of the Australian newspaper today, perfect example about how, um, from our perspective, Nicholas, and I'm not going to suggest that you speak on the behalf of the entire union movement, but there was no part of me that thought when I woke up today that I would have to be fighting for uh, what national identity was at the end of the day. <laughs> I thought these things were somewhat um, assumed, understood, that we live in a modernity that has a justice system that is what it is. We have representative democracy. We have taxation. We have, we have all of this system very well and clearly established, clearly established because of uh, the events of a couple of hundred years ago. Now, this, of course, is a, a traumatic thing for the Indigenous populations from then. I understand all of this. But... Our university sector, this is, they decided to, uh, to join um, a way university, a university I went to, by the way, uh, has said this, where in a submission to a Senate inquiry into nationhood and democracy, the University of Western Sydney, or the Western Sydney University, um, has said that Australia's national identity should be based on the cultures of the indigenous peoples of the country. The university, which has had one of the nation's most diverse campuses, said that decolonisation was of the very definition of uh, uh, the Australian nation and uh, uh, nationhood. It was required to repair past wrongs uh, and the legacies of colonialism for Indigenous Australians. So, Nick, can you help decode for normal people what decolonisation of the very definition of Australian nation and nationhood means? Because <laughs> we live in a system with representative democracy, taxation, all of these things. What does decolonisation mean? Look, I'm going to try and take a broader lens on this one, Paul, because uh, this inquiry, which has been um, called by um, LNP Queensland uh, Senator Amanda Stoker, Amanda Stoker and yeah, right, and rising Kim star, I think, in federal policy, and Kim Carr, you know, veteran uh, socialist left Labor uh, poly from Victoria, a somewhat political odd couple, you might say, but but I actually think this inquiry uh, is is a pretty important one, and I'm not just saying that because I was invited to give evidence to it the other uh, the other oh, week. Oh, it's eminent then. Oh, it's eminent. Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> Well, look, I did point out the importance uh, of um, public trust in our democracy and institutions of government, that trust is like the secret source in democracy oh, and allows yeah. reforms to happen and get things done. <laughs> um, I also like saying you won't answer. put a tax in before exactly. an election and putting one in after <laughs> the, an election. The, the, the former Chief of Staff to Julia Gillard says he wants to restore <laughs> trust in politics. I've heard it all now. Keep going, keep going, Nicholas. Come uh, on, dig up, I, son. I, 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 and I also uh, talked about a paper that uh, the University of Melbourne prepared where we got politicians and people involved in policy, like heads of departments, to sign on to 15 reforms to make our democracy work better. And we made the point that, hey, if these people with all these different backgrounds can sign on to this list of reforms, surely they can't be too hard to do. In terms of the nationhood debate, though, look, there is there is a conversation that needs to be had there, Paul. I mean, yeah. we can't agree on what day Australia should be. We can't agree it's on more. our flag. We can't agree agreed. on who our head of state should be. We can't agree on our national anthem. I, I, you know, do I need to go on? There are, I think all of those things are settled, to be honest. They're settled. In you mean the, the, left the left can't change? The left can't change this. The left can't change but, that. But, the left can't but, change this. Chris, I like the code. We have to have a conversation. A conversation means eventually agree with me. I know. I can decode Lefty very well, Nicholas. <laughs> you, you will be pleased to know we'll that I do think we live in a gold standard democracy here in Australia and we get the basics of a good life. So we do it brilliantly but, here in this country. But I don't understand but we how do need nationhood to update some of it. can't so be about an egalitarian some of our society about nation, some where... Some of our it, stories we tell us. Uh, sure, but I'm saying is that I don't understand how nationhood can't just be yeah. to be born in the worst community in the worst part of the country does not limit you from your ability to eventually rise to being the richest person or the most powerful person. We don't have a rigid class system like other countries. We believe in absolute equality between genders, sexes, all the rest of it, let alone the story story of how we got here, which is the sacrifices of the past. But those all get sort of rubbed away and it only counts if it's pre oh. this date and everything after isn't. Uh, the vast majority of Australians agree with everything you've just said. Yeah. But what this shows but Nicholas is, wants a conversation. What, what this shows is, <laughs> is that the march of socialism through our institutions brings about this rubbish. Now the reason I attack socialism as hard and fast as I do mm. is because I know how evil and cruel it is. And I know what it does. And it ends in disaster and tears and failure. And so uh, I started this, I guess, in my maiden speech when I came into the uh, 
House of Representatives. But the important thing is that what we need to, to look at is how can we make it even better understood? I'd say to the Prime Minister, we need some free enterprise principles. Um, I'd begin with one which I've kept up with and then we should get out of things French, both the Paris Agreement <laughs> and the submarines. <laughs> uh, I'm with you on submarines. <laughs> we should also start reducing taxes and if we got out rid of those two things we'd have some money where we could do that. But it can, it's we should of, let, it, we Pat, should the, let... The French, the French who, are, who are demanding that we get rid of carbon dioxide emissions <laughs> are also giving us subs That's full exactly of diesel. <laughs> <laughs> But yes. importantly, can I, can I, can importantly I, the other thing is... The, the sorry, Nicholas, we're course. having a conversation. That means you've got to let Bronwyn go. We have got to allow <laughs> business people to get on with doing business sure. and make governments make it easier for them, not harder. But no, 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 no. But business is not interested in uh, making business decisions anymore. They want no. to do woke ads telling us how to live our lives. OK, but Nicholas, it's this thing, right? There is no part of modern Australia that doesn't understand the nation that was here before, the peoples that were here before, right? But also yeah. the many languages, many cultures, all of those things. I just thought that the whole point is is that for, for, for our kids to have the blank page of history, you tell them the full story, right? Which includes yeah. oh, everything yeah. before that date, the difficulties of transition, the war, the dismissal, the bombing of Darwin, that of course is the anniversary today, but barely, yesterday. no mention, yesterday, sorry, no mention yeah. anywhere this week about an example of when our country was being invaded. Oh, yeah. All right. So, so, so that's so the I, story. So How's that not nationhood? Uh, nationhood how is about, a how about, story. How about the stump I, I, jump I plow and the secret <laughs> ballot and the the the, 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 the shearing shears? So, so but, Paul, you will be pleased to know that I actually gave evidence on this point to the Senate inquiry, and I was thinking of my friends at Sky News, and I was thinking if they could only see me now, because I made oh. the observation that my daughter, no Bronwyn, please, you got to hear this one out. My daughter's just started high school, and she came home with her humanities textbook, and I thought, oh, this will be interesting. I used to love humanities mm. and I opened up chapter one and there was the story of the ancient Greeks and the birth of democracy. I thought, fantastic. Next chapter was all about the Romans. I thought, oh, that's brilliant as well. You know, the most successful civilization there probably ever was. Then there was a, the next chapter was about 60,000 years of indigenous history in Australia. I thought, that's fantastic yeah. as well. And then, and then I kept going and you know what? I couldn't find the chapter about the birth of Australian democracy and how we led the world Correct. in so many ways in democratic reform, giving everyone we a, a vote, nation giving without a bullet. women the vote, and, and we did all these amazing things that, that it's seemingly kids aren't being taught about in the year 7 but, but let me guess, it goes from 1788 and then the next page, 1975, the Whitlam dismissal. Yeah. <laughs> Just that, they, nothing happened in between, right. see, according to the left And then the Nicholas, Tasmanian Dams case after that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Nicholas, with that statement you just made, yeah. it makes uh, so true what I say to you so often. You can get over your socialism. <laughs> it is capable of being got rid of. You are really a decent bloke. And I've just seen he a is. glimmer of hope. We love him. All right. So I was yeah, chuckling yeah, and yeah, thinking yeah. of you, Bronwyn, as I was, tell as I was relaying that story in into the Senate. You know, the, the, the times I feel most patriotic about this country is when we show just how phlegmatic we are about it, right? You know, um, yeah. you go to the footy on Anzac Day and... Um, and, um, uh, and and that's how you mark the day. On Australia Day, you go to the beach. The, the grand final, when they play the, the, the national anthem, you can't hear it because everyone's cheering re ready for the opening bounce. Correct. We don't really care about all that sort of flag-waving patriotism. Absolutely. But we do have to learn about how lucky we are socially, democratically, when it comes to society, mm. egalitarian business development. Uh, man, it's become so fashionable to just be down on Australia. Um, find a better democracy than this one. Correct. Uh,